All right, so I just sold this bass guitar on eBay. It only went for like 130 bucks or something, but I gotta ship it. It's my duty to ship it now, and I don't really want to just put it in, throw it in a cardboard box. I don't have a case for it, and if I bought a case, I couldn't find a bass case. I looked for one. They're a bajillion dollars. Couldn't find a cheap used one. So, I don't really want to throw it in a cardboard box. What's going to be better than a cardboard box? Probably a shipping crate of some sort, just in some foam packaging or something. Let me take a second to talk about materials for a shipping crate. Okay, we have cardboard. Cardboard's the cheapest option. However, cardboard likes to crumble. If you drop it on its side, on a, like a corner or something, it'll just crumble to pieces. So, because of that, it's not good for a shipping crate. I don't want that. We could use Baltic birch plywood. That's way too nice and expensive for a shipping crate. We don't want that. Now this, what is this? This is like half inch sheeting. This would actually be pretty good for a shipping crate. Cheap, plywood, strong. This is three quarter uh, pine, seven ply. This is too nice and expensive as well. We've also got OSB, half inch OSB. This is, uh, this is pretty good. OSB is actually pretty dang strong. It's gone up in price. Uh, recently it used to be cheap in the part of war, not anymore. So I'm probably going to use this for the shipping crate for most of it. I might cut a couple pieces off of this for it. Either way, I've got them sitting around here. So I have this foam stuff. It's called poly panel. I use this for packaging every now and then. It's not that expensive. It's like five or six bucks or something for all these. I'm going to wrap this base in a uh, shrink wrap first. If I can uh, figure it out here. Let's see. This started somehow. Yeah. I'm gonna make a bass guitar sandwich with these two pieces of foam here. I'm gonna get a height measurement. Oh, there we go. Four and a quarter or something. Stick some extra stuff in there to make it tight. That's what she said. I'm gonna cut this piece of OSB down a little bit to make it more manageable. pieces cut out here. These are going to be the sides of the crate and the ends. I'm going to brad nail them together with a little dab of glue and then we can put the slats on. So I'm not, don't get ahead of myself here. Let me do this first. I'm just going to use a little bit of glue so this help this, the, just for these end pieces to so just help them stay together. Pressure might be a little high. Hope it's not blowing right through the. Ah, it seems okay. Flip this over. Put this other end piece on here. Line that up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit too much glue, but. Brad nailer. Kind of sucks. I hear it leaking. So this is the basic frame for the shipping crate. All I gotta do now is measure and cut some pieces to go across to make the bottom. I'm not gonna cover it 100%. I'm just gonna cut some slats. Kinda. Uh, this really took no time at all to make if you got a Brad nailer and stuff. It's really easy. So. No 
No glue on these. figure out this kind of spacing not too sure but that's too much Alright, so that side is done. Flip it over. See, we got some strength to it now. Now it's time to actually put the base in the case, as they say. Actually, I don't know anybody that says that. But I think I'm going to try to kind of tape this to this so it can't move around. That'll be the first thing to do. The eagle has landed, meaning, I don't know what that means, but in this case it means that the uh, base fits perfectly. Now in case this thing gets stood up on either end, which I guarantee it will with shipping, I'm going to try to cut, put some foam in this way and that way so that it's got a little protection. Got the perfect foam scraps for the job. There we go, look at that. There it is, that's a, that is what I call a custom fit. this end this is the neck end so I'm gonna try to kind of fill it up a little bit kind of compress the guitar a little bit against the yeah that'll be better get some pieces on the edge here Total custom fitment here. All right, I'm in the home stretch now. You can see, this thing's gonna get kind of compressed in there. Just the foam. It's kind of what I want. It's bending around it. Here's the bottom of it. Check that out. Did not take very long. It's quite solid, very, very solid. I'm gonna weigh this thing real quick. Let's see here, turn the scale on. Thirty pounds. That's it. This shipping crate took almost no time to make, and it's super strong. I have no doubt the thing's going to get there safely. All I got to do now is wrap some cardboard around it, tape it up, put a shipping label on it, out the door it goes.